Jasper County Sheriff's Department 1. He allegedly confessed to shooting his mother and friend online. I've spent a lot of time thinking about murder, wondering what it feels like, but I've barely felt anything, Casey James Lawhorn, 23, allegedly wrote on April 8 while sitting in his broken-down car on the side of I-59 South. The since-deleted Facebook post, captured by the New York Post, detailed the shooting death of his mother, Vi Lawhorn and his friend, Avery Gaines, 22, Casey claims to have shot Avery in the head once with a stolen .22 rifle. He stole money and heroin from his friend, before turning the gun on his disoriented from alcohol mother, after failing to, allegedly, kill her twice, at first, the gun jammed and secondly, he missed, he finally succeeded. She started screaming the worst scream I've ever heard, he wrote. Movies really don't do justice to how true terror sounds, she shouted. You shot me. You've killed me. Why? I shot at her twice more and it was over. 2. Casey reportedly killed himself afterwards. Surely any normal person would wish death on themselves after doing what I did, seeing what I saw and hearing what I heard. He reportedly wrote, all that's waiting on me is life in prison, or maybe the death penalty. Following the murders, police dispatchers in Mississippi, 40 miles from his home, got a phone call alerting him to the killings. The suspect called us and identified himself, Stan Allen, East Ridge Assistant Police Chief told ABC News. He told us that he had committed the crime and that he was going to a location north of our city to find a secluded spot to kill himself. The Jasper County Sheriff's Department confirmed on Facebook that a body, believing to be Casey's, was found. 3. He sort of blamed his school. Casey didn't go into detail why he killed his mother and friend. He started off the post by saying, I take full responsibility for my actions. Nothing anyone has or hasn't done to me caused this. My decisions and my failures are my own. Yet, he hints later in the post that his tenure at Middle Tennessee State University was a factor behind this double murder-suicide. And it's my opinion that I've been heading to unavoidable tragedy since I started at MTSU, Casey wrote. I'm not saying the university made me do it, but that the chain of events that I initiated by going there led me here, to inevitable suicide. Casey attended MTSU from 2013 to 2016, withdrawing early in September 2016, according to the. He was a political science major, for Casey didn't kill the animals. I didn't hurt our dog or cat, in case anyone was wondering about the animals, he wrote. Of course, he did allegedly murder his mother and friend. Casey asked for some sympathy for his brother for what he had put him through. Most of Casey's confession suicide note is full of self-indulgent musings of a young man who had just shot two people. However, amid all the reflection, he didn't ask for people to feel bad for him. Don't give me or my family your thoughts and prayers, he wrote. No one will be hurt by this more than my brother, Chad Lawhorn. He will probably need a lot of help getting through this, and if you think you are helping him just by talking to the sky, you're effing wrong. If you want to help him in this insanely difficult time I'm putting him through, actually do something, don't just think about it. I'm sorry to him more than anyone, he added. That said, I don't want or need forgiveness from anyone. What I did is unforgivable. And prayer is a waste of time, nothing happens after death, but if there is a hell, I'm going to be in the lake of ice at the bottom.